Such videocy. Got these tattoos and I should have listened to them. So I'm a director, editor, actor, content creator, whatever. But above all else, I consider myself a writer. But I couldn't think of anything to write for this intro. Hello and welcome to Video Scene, welcome to Mass Task, the visual and oral journey through my 124 and counting tattoos. All link, of course, has been done by Jeff Brown at Custom Touch Tattoo, the North Carolina Triad's oldest established tattoo studio. This is Johnny. He has nothing to do with the tattoo I'm about to talk about since I got it more than three years before he was born. But he wouldn't be quiet, so I thought putting him on camera might help. Anyway, back in March of 2015, I was preparing to shoot my first feature-length film. I had been interested in filmmaking since seeing Kevin Smith's Mallrats in the mid-90s, but up to that point, he had only shot short films. I remember one time hearing Kevin talking about his experience shooting his first feature film, Clerks, and saying for him, at that time, it was basically make a movie or die. Now, even though Kevin at that time was a 20-something stuck in a dead-end job, and when I shot my movie, I was a middle-aged family man. Thank you for illustrating the family man point, Johnny. I knew what Kevin was talking about, that feeling of desperation of just having to get your life on the track you thought it should be on, or else not knowing how to go on. So anyway, to memorialize that thought, and to give me some inspiration going into the film, I got Make a Movie or Die tattooed on this film clapboard, along with some film strips. One thing I really like about this tattoo is it reminds me of Trash Polka, a style of tattooing of which I'm a great fan. Yes, I know it's not a Trash Polka tattoo, I just said it reminded me of that. Also, this was the first time that had ever been tattooed on Friday the 13th, and while this tattoo had nothing to do with the mythos surrounding that date, I still think it's a cool date to get tattooed on, so I'm glad I did it. At least once. I thought at the time that once I had made the movie, I would get the words make a movie or die covered up, but so far I've left them intact. I may still get them covered up one day, but for now I'm leaving it. While I haven't covered up any part of that tattoo, the next month I would get my first cover up. But that's another story for another time. Hope to video. you. See you then. Peace out, y'all. Now this is dedicated to everybody who faked it. At first it was great, but now the relationships are vacant. I really hate it that I got fooled back then. But like the hoop, I won't get fooled again. Got these tattoos and I should have listened to them. Cause hope and trust are dead and you are not my friend. And if you ever were before, doubt you'll ever be again. Wish what I know.